Yeah. Hair is ready for the day. Seriously, it's our full sit a bit. So you do always relax a bit, but have you just finished your workout? Mm -hmm. How was it? Good. I just wasn't feeling it so much. I did 20 minutes. Yeah, nice. Well, it's better than nothing. Well, no, it was a, it was like a hit 20 minutes, so it was really intense. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, great. Oh, so, good soundtrack. Yeah. I think it just comes from dehydration when you wake up in the morning, I think. You know, and you're just not feeling it. Yeah. As soon as you've had like a pint of water, your kind of body just mm, yeah, absolutely. gets in the mode. He's well loving, isn't he? Recently? I know he is. Okay, all air wrapped for the morning. What time is it, babe? Is it like half eight? It is uh, 20 past 11. Shut up. What time is it? 10 to 9. 10 to 9? That'll take me 50 minutes. Joking. No, because I did a 20 minute class. But it is 10 to 9. Okay, maybe it's maybe I've been pausing to watch the mustards. Okay, it's 10 to 9 and I am ready. That makes me feel so happy. Oh, right. We're back in my closet and it's lovely and tidy in here. So it's, yeah, it's Monday, like I said. Yesterday, Sunday night, cleared out even more, even more of my collections. Like I did my sunglasses, my gym wear, and my swimwear, and just kind of tidied a bit more in this room. So it's looking pretty great, it's looking great. I thought I would come and put on a bit of makeup. I'll just put on like a little bottom layer thus far, but I just want to top up with some faves, just to brighten up my complexion a little bit. I just want a bit more of a natural look, really. Just to brighten up my face a bit. I'm just feeling a bit like dull and sallow, so I just want to like, brighten up a little bit. This part of the video, by the way, is a paid for advertorial with Codate, but it's just pretty wonderful that, in honesty, these products are products I use most days, as you'll see a lot of the time I use these uh, products. So it's just a really fantastic brand to work with putting on one of my favourite concealers, I mention it all the time, the Seamless Cover Concealer. I use two different colours, that was NC10 that I've just put on in the very lightest areas. I'm just going to put on a little bit of NW15 on as well. It's a little bit more yellow toned with the W, just to brighten that up. And I did show this the other day on stories, like, let me put you maybe here. I might need to help you to see this like amazing difference with the colour. It's become a favourite for a reason, it's just really brightening without feeling too heavy and it really stays put and it really does, does, does its job and covers where you want. Like a lot of concealers that I use just sometimes feel too thin and that they're not covering like the blue veins or, or like brightening in the way that you want because they're not adding enough product. I find that from so many concealers. But then if you go too thick with the concealer, it can just get a bit much and very cakey, very fast. So I feel like concealers, there's a fine line between it being really fantastic and it being too much and too cakey. I feel a lot of brands don't quite hit the nail on the head. Whereas this one has become a favourite because it's literally that perfect in between. So that's why I use it all the time. Anyway though, this actually isn't even an ad for the, the concealer, that's just the thing I use. The thing I am talking to you though today about is their new brow pencil. This is the Arch Realist Brow Defining Pencil. This is vegan friendly, it comes in a couple of different shades and it's double ended. So you've got the coal side and you've got the spoolie side. And I think you guys probably know these are usually my favourite kind of brow product. I don't think you can beat just a coal pencil. That's pretty much all I've got in my collection when it comes to eyeliners. Coals, just nice easy sharpening coal pencils just work wonders. So I'm going to be using these today and apparently within these in terms of ingredients it has shea butter, it's got jojoba oil and also vitamin E so it's all about strengthening and conditioning the skin beneath the brows just to kind of help brow growth and hair growth. That's something that I personally really look for. It's definitely something I've been thinking about a lot recently. How much more I want to grow my lashes and my eyebrows and I want to start using products that actually care for the hairs on the brows and the eyes. But yeah, these come in three shades, light, medium and dark. So I'm gonna use two different ones today. I'm gonna use light, but also a little bit of medium just to get a bit of definition. Before I get to that, I'm just gonna just touch up the rest of my face a little bit. Okay, just adding, adding some color to my lips. I'm definitely starting to look 
awake now, that's for sure. This is much, much better. Okay, just for the eyes, I'm gonna quickly just do a really simple eye look. Which palette shall I go for? I'll go for the Iconoclast in Lustrous Corduroy. This little baby, I have both of these in my collection. These are really fantastic, easy, wearable shades for different looks. So just really just great little palettes. I'm just gonna take the lightest brown through the crease. The other day I was on the Zoom call with Code 8 for an event that they were throwing and it was all for the new Art Realist Brows. It was such a fantastic event. It was with a fantastic artist called Jessica Yolanda Kay. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen me mentioning her in my stories, but she's an artist who draws really gorgeous line drawing pieces. She was teaching us how to draw these different kind of like figures in line drawings. And it was such a really interesting lesson, like Code 8 sent us a pack of like art supplies. I'm just seeing you in a little bit. Yeah, they sent us a pack of art supplies. Pens and pastels to colour in and lovely paper. And it was just so fun, like it was just one evening and I was just sat at the breakfast bar on the call and Alexa Chung is the Code ambassador, so she was on the call, which was really, really nice to see. Just her joining in with everyone, like, that's what I like about Alexa Chung, is she's just really just normal. She's super normal, really down to earth, and just, I've never actually met her, but she just seems like such a normal, lovely lady. Like, I feel like I'd probably get on with her quite well, to be honest, if we ever, ever met. She seems super normal. So it was a really fantastic class, and in the end of it, I'd been taught how to kind of draw in this line drawing style, obviously. I'm not very good at it, but I came away with a really beautiful picture that I was super happy with, and Alex was like, that's so good, you should put it on the wall. So I've actually framed it on the wall in the hallway, which is super cute. Super duper cute, so sweet of him. Anyway, so after that, that evening, I got looking at Jessica, the artist who taught us, I got looking at her work on her Instagram, completely fell in love with it. Like, it's my kind of artwork to a T, and as you know, like in the past, recently bought a couple of more original pieces of artwork from various designers. I just really quite enjoy buying original pieces from artists that I think just have something quite unique about them. Yeah, so I'm always in the market to find really fantastic and unique artwork that I feel like I'm gonna love for a long time. And I saw that Jessica had just created a new line of six pieces where she's drawn these fantastic shapes on like this beautiful linen and they're boxed in light birch wood frames. Completely fell in love with it, like immediately was like, wow, these are amazing. Yeah, all from that event, I've ended up buying two of Jessica's pieces for the house. So it was just a really wonderful coincidence. It was a fantastic event. I was really blown away by her artwork and then I've ended up becoming a customer of hers. And now in a couple of weeks, I'm gonna have my pieces of art sent to me. They are so gorgeous. They're like, big, big box frames, they're about a metre and a bit, so they're really quite large and I think my idea is to put them on the, um, the kitchen wall and really change up that space and make it feel really calm in there and really uh, like com just completely change that, that space a bit I think. At the moment we've got the apples and oranges which I love but I do wish they were a bit bigger. That wall is quite big and I feel like it's a bit sparse. Yeah, I just thought it was a really nice coincidence really, well a nice occurrence. Like I went on to this Zoom chat with Code 8. My eyes are watering. I think I've got um, a bit of hay fever at the moment with spring starting. I just love it when these things sort of come together and you discover people or artists or anything uh, at different random events and things. So thank you to Code 8 for introducing me to Jessica and her work. It was also just a perfect time as well because she's been talking about this new artwork that she's got and that, that it's coming out soon, but it hadn't yet launched. So I've managed to put my down payment on them before anyone else got in there before me. So I am chuffed to bits. I'm really excited. So I'll show you that in a couple of weeks when they arrive. Okay. okay. In all honesty, guys, I filmed the rest of that makeup tutorial earlier and we were editing it and I hated that angle, that looking up at me angle. No, no good. So I've literally just taken off my brows, I do, and I'm gonna redo them again because 
Yeah, we were watching it back and I was like, this is not a flattering angle, so I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of pick up where I left off. This is the Lash Sophisticate Mascara. Really thin brush that just gets right into the roots. It's also quite buildable if you wanna do a couple of different coats. I'm doing the same angle again. It's because I'm trying to look, it's because I'm trying to look up to apply this mascara. I'm gonna do less of that, I promise. Alex is just like, what is this angle, babe? <laughs> As you can see, it just really enhances the lashes. They're really lengthened, they're volumized without being clumpy, and they're really, really separated. So I'm literally just adding on a second coat here. Just to finish them off. But as you can see, that it's a really lovely mascara. I really like these kind of ones that are a bit thinner. I find that I don't touch my eyelid anywhere near as much with this kind of a brush. And it's super jet black as well, so highly recommend this mascara, actually. I think it's really, really great. If I look up, you can really see that enhancement of the eyelashes. I really need a lash lift right now, but even without one, they look really open and wide, and yeah, super nice. So, right, I'm going to do my brows now. Brow defining pencil. So on one end, you have a really rigid spoolie. So it just works really well. Uh, brushing through the brows, bring attention to the fact it's more rigid because sometimes spoolies can be a bit too soft and they don't really kind of grab and comb through. So it does its job the way it's intended. And then on the other side, you have the coal pencil. Also, before I forget, code 8 from the 7th to the 15th of March have 15% off site wide. So if you want to get shopping for things that you need to top up that you already love, or if you have lots of new things that you want to try, such as the brand new Arch Realist range, anything else I've shown you, it's 15% off site wide from the 7th to the 15th. So amazing time to get shopping. So I found with this, the colour is absolutely perfection for me. Is a dark blonde. This isn't red toned. It's a really fantastic ashy yet still warm and flattering colour for my brows. I also really like the consistency of the coal in this pencil. I find there are three types of coal pencils. One is a very dry consistency of the coal which means that you're scraping away your skin and not getting much payoff. The second kind is when it's too gel-like and you put on too much product and also it is a nightmare for then applying gels over top like eyebrow gels because it goes everywhere and the third product is this genuinely this is i mean you've seen how wonderfully that just drew on i didn't need to scrape it was just nice little brush strokes incredible color payoff like i am genuinely genuinely impressed with this now. I think this is gonna very easily become my everyday brow pencil. And I'm not just saying that because I work with Code 8 on this. Genuinely, I don't know what more I could want from a brow pencil at this point. I think it's really fantastic. And look how fab that looks. So great. And then you can also take, for example, this is the, this is the medium shade. And I mean, you could always just take a couple of strokes of that through just to kind of darken up some bits and add a bit more realism and 3D to the brows. To be honest, some days I do go really dark with my brows. It just all depends on the day. So after a little bit of brow gel, that looks awesome. So, so happy with that. I just think the consistency of this is so fab. I was just chatting with Bryony and Tomorrow I have an interview, well it's not an interview, it's just a chat, with the BBC News Northwest. That's the BBC News Channel for Wigan, where I grew up. That's the news channel, pretty much, that you would have on every night at 6pm onwards. And they've asked if I'd like to come on the news just to talk about being a northern girl in this space and how I felt growing up in Wigan and what I learned and how I got into fashion and and things like that. So I'm very honoured to be asked. I'm really nervous. Like, I'm really nervous about it. Actually, I'm <laughs> really nervous. I've never, never done anything on that's aired on TV. Luckily, it's going to be pre-recorded. Speaking to this lovely lady in the day, and I think they're going to um, put it up that night. So, you know, it's that day, but I think to be pre-recorded, which makes me feel a little more at ease, but it's still going to be 
very nerve-wracking. Hopefully some of you guys saw that because you'll have seen it probably by now if you're in the northwest or the northwest covers a lot of space like um, Merseyside, Man Greater Manchester, Lancashire, Cumbria, Chester, Cheshire. Ah, <laughs> quite scary. So yeah, wish me luck guys. Well I'll have done it by the time you see this so oh god. Okay there we go. I'm really, really impressed. So don't forget, 7th to the 15th of March, 15% off code 8 site. So maybe it's that time to stock up. I'm also quite excited today because my builder has been in touch and told me that he's ordered all the stone for the garden. I've ordered all the coping stones. Now, finally, and finials for bits of the wall and all sorts. It's very, very exciting that I'm finally, like, we've got six weeks now to wait, hopefully, for it all to be made. So in six weeks' time, we can actually start the garden. And with this amazing weather that I've got right now, hopefully in six weeks, we have something comparable to this. And I can sit outside with a gin and just enjoy my beautiful new garden. Like, I'm so excited about this. I can't wait to actually properly show you that. It's just dead exciting. So yeah, it's just been a, it's been a great day actually so far. I'm probably just going to go now crack on with some more emails before the end of the day. It's now five o'clock. So I'm going to crack on with some more emails and uh, yeah, and I'll see you in a minute. Tuesday morning, I'm about to do my Zoom, <laughs> my Zoom chat with BBC News. <laughs> Genuinely really nervous. If I'd had this chat over a year ago, pre-staying in for a year, I wouldn't feel anywhere near this nervous or anxious about it. It's it's just like re regressing after being in the house for so long, not going to meetings, not traveling, not going away, not put, not challenging myself and stepping outside of my box. You get a bit comfortable, don't you? So I am really quite nervous about this. I just want a few of my Edge of Ember pieces, because obviously, and then my beautiful blue shirt, Saint Laurent blazer. And I've just left my hair from yesterday. I mean, it's my usual, my usual like undone hair vibe, really. I didn't want to look too over the top and like too glam or done up. I just wanted to look like a, just like the normal, normal person I am. That's it. <laughs> Having a coffee, I don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea. Gonna have a bit more coffee. So I'll put my lippy. I'm wearing the um, Tilbury. Kim KW. Let's do this thing. <laughs> so apparently, I'm gonna be on BBC Northwest News tonight nervous? in half an hour. And I'm trying to find out to get it. I am nervous. Yeah, I'm really nervous. I'm really scared that I've said something really dumb or a bit silly or something. I wouldn't be like you. It wouldn't be like me actually. Oh, no. I don't usually say things that are ridiculous, but this is well scary. We've just finished off a photo shoot. I'm shooting a campaign for Valentino, which is just amazing. So I've been shooting a Valentino campaign. Yeah, then I just got a text off a girl saying that I am on at half past six. So I've texted my, all my friends, I've texted all my mates in Wigan <laughs> to let them know. That was, I only, I only um, filmed that little interview earlier and now it's already going up. So we're probably gonna watch that, have a glass of wine, and then, and then make dinner. And I think I'm gonna make carbonara tonight. Parsley, perfect. I've got parsley, I've got eggs, I've got, I've not got parmesan, but I'll just do our vegan cheese. Hey Presto, let's go to carbonara. Now, moving from football to fashion, and Victoria McGrath from Wigan was studying for a PhD at Manchester University when she began to post videos and photos about clothes and beauty online. Well, she is now one of the country's most popular fashion bloggers with millions of followers on social media, and she also has a best-selling book. She spoke with Kerry Parvin about her Northwest fashion roots. Hi, I'm Victoria. I'm a content creator and I'm a blogger, YouTuber. I write about fashion and beauty, everything in the social space. I started the blog in 2012. It turns out that I was also kind of part of that wave of it growing. Like back then, it wasn't monetizable. No one was making any money from it. It was literally a hobby. And that's why I started it. I built this fantastic audience that I never expected. And then the whole industry now is completely different to how it was at the very, very start. But I'm just hoping that even more people get inspired and start blogs and start creating in Manchester and really, you know, to show what we have to offer. Oh, she's a good proud northerner, isn't she? Well done to Victoria.
Wednesday lunchtime. <laughs> we are having door star fish finger buddies. Yeah, yeah. Mine is with bilaf cheese. Yours is with Tabasco sriracha, baby. I'm gonna get no cheese. You said no to cheese? You said yes to butter? No. You want to ch oh, sorry. <laughs> are you sure? You don't want it? <laughs> I'm gonna pull me back pan, I bum cheese. Mm -hmm. Midday Wednesday. I had a really fantastic call this morning with Sky, chat through projects, and you are currently editing the Valentino pictures, which we're thrilled with. So yes. I really hope they love it because it feels really um feels nice well, to do we're something. Just walking up there, I know. He's a haircut. Blimey. It feels like a while since we've done something a bit more editorial and it feels nice to do that again, doesn't it? I feel like we've got more use out of that room upstairs in the past like two weeks than we did an entire year that it was Absolutely, yeah. an office. So, I'm so happy with it, are you? Yeah, now I've, now I've managed to bend my head around how to shoot in it. Because it is, it's not a small space, but it is a small space in the sense that like to control lighting has mm. been quite tricky, but... I'm going to go shoot my Louis Vuitton look for the show. We've just had the samples through. Marble samples and the limestone samples for all of the garden and the bathroom renovation they look amazing. I'll show you in a minute. They look great. Thrilled with them. It's exactly what we wanted. Yeah, I'm so happy. So I'll show you that in a minute as well because that is going to happen soon. Got some beautiful flowers delivered, and I don't know who from. So there was no label. So. I mean, I've just had these delivered as well from the Todd's team, which are gorgeous. They smell absolutely incredible. It smells like jasmine, almost. These ones, these roses. I mean, these are absolutely stunning. I don't know who, who sent them. If you're watching and you sent these, thank you. And please message me and let me know it was you. <laughs> I don't know. We also got sent a really nice set of bottles from Prosecco Doc. You can now drink pink on any day of the week now that Prosecco Doc Rosé has been launched in the UK. How nice! So we've got the Consorzio Tutela. Why do you always put the accent on? Because it's Italiano. Don't you know? This is a brute. Then we've got an extra dry sparkling wine. That sounds amazing. It's vegan. That How does great. it make it vegan? Well, I think don't, with quite a lot of wines, don't they um, filter it through like fish membranes and stuff? I thought it was beer. Was that beer? Oh, I don't know. I might be wrong. I don't know. I'm not sure. And this is an extra dry Treviso. Wow. Lovely bottles, aren't they? So I'll report back as to how we go with these. Do you know what? I might put this in the fridge for tonight. Let me show you our marble samples. So, first up, we have this beautiful marble. This is from Sapietra. This is a majestic porcelain arabescato. But this is in the gloss finish. You can see it does also come in a matte, but we're going for that really, in this bathroom, we're going for a really Parisian feel where everything's really glossy and luxury and extra. <laughs> so these also come in loads of sizes. So I don't think I've told you this, but they come in like big sizes. So I was literally gonna get like six massive tiles that we'd have just like one, two, three. Oh, great. One, two, three, like that. Square? Uh, big rectangles. Oh, nice, yeah. Yeah. I thought better just to spill, fill the space. Rather than to do loads of tiles this size and make mm -hmm. it like a big patchwork, I'd rather it look like bigger pieces of marble. Yeah, sounds good. So yeah, that's what I thought would do, just these big, big pieces. But it's lovely. And the coolest thing about it is... So the bathroom we've ordered is from Catch Pole and Rye. I cannot wait to show you it. It is the most extra bougie bathroom you're likely going to ever see. <laughs> but again, we're going for super premium Parisian style. So I've gone all out on this. <laughs> and we want it obviously for like shooting in there and backdrops for photo shoots and whatnot. The sink that we're getting is Arab Piscato marble. So I wanted to get a marble tile that matched it. So the sink matches the floor, obviously, or else it'd look a bit clashing. So this is just a small sample that Catchpole sent me to show the arabescato of that. So if you see, they match really perfectly. Like the colours and the type of veining is unreal. So I'm thrilled. So this is the exact tiles we're going to go for. I'll leave them linked down below if you're looking for an arabescato marble tile. These are fab and they're not... I mean, they're a premium price tag, but they're not crazy expensive. Like things that we've bought before that have been mind-blowing prices. These are 
really really fab so yeah i'll leave it linked down below so that's going to be the bathroom then in the garden we're going limestone so we're having these are so fab this is part of it's called the naranjo limestone cobbled limestone i think and i don't think it's the size it's got it's not a square they're going to be more cut rectangular so they're almost like big bricks almost nice and thick they're like an inch and a bit thick actually probably an inch and a half that almost but these are gonna look amazing we're having one side of the house completely reflagged repaved sorry i know flagged is a really northern thing i think yeah. yeah last time i was talking about the flags people were like what are you talking about flags for really is in like flying a flag i think it's a really colloquial thing i guess so, same yeah. flags flagstones anyway paving stone we're having all one side repaved in this i think it's gonna look absolutely amazing so what we're going to do is, because that's, so that's why in the last vlog I realised I didn't say what I was doing with the measuring up and that was that I was measuring up how much metre squareage would need of this and it's quite a bit to be fair but it looks so lovely and like refreshed, much more like French country cottage home which is what we're after but then we're going to make use of all of the, the Indian sandstone flags, <laughs> paving stones that we have out there and we're going to move them all over to this side of the house, have them completely beautifully relayed flat with, so all the ins, so all of the um, what do you call it? What goes in between flags? Grout. Grout. So all the grout. Yeah, it's probably like a grout, isn't it? You know what I mean. So all of that is perfect again, and just looks like a brand new set of stones, because they are such incredible sandstone flags. We we love them. Like when you cleaned them up last summer, they looked incredible. Like the colours. It's all these like muted reds and oranges and yellows. They just haven't been cleaned for fifteen years, yeah. and we were like, they're really really bad. They're gonna need throwing, and then. I yeah. got out there and found that bleach, didn't bleach. I? That certain bleach and just... The amount of messages I had about that them. as well. I yeah. still get messages about it today. They look fantastic. So we love them, but we want to we want to almost have two different types of paving. So we're going to move them all over this side of the house and we're going to have this put down the other side of the house around where I'm going to have my raised beds put in. So I think it's going to look so gorgeous. Can't wait. So again, this is Sapietra. It's called the Naranjo Range. I'll leave a link down below in case you're looking for something similar. But It looks really like... I'm really impressed vintage not vintage but like yeah they look like they're meant to look probably a bit worn and a bit weathered like greek you can imagine yeah. like digging something or like santorini you'd imagine walking yeah. down the cobblestones of these they're beautiful they're really nice i'm thrilled to bits and that now we're already thinking that we want to get these now for our driveway and to completely repave the drive that'll be down the line i can't yeah i have to think <laughs> about that it's a lot of money because we want the porch and i think when we do the porch we do the flagging the paving so that it's all done at the same time, so it all yeah. mingles in together and matches. Yeah, let's just get the garden done first. <laughs> yeah, so that's what we're having, guys. Right, let me know, guys, what you think. If you think it's a nice idea, our builder, project manager, everything guy is just amazing. He's going to start in about six weeks on the garden, and it was originally just going to be the garden grass he was going to do in this wall that we want but i said to him look i imagine then as soon as you've left that the garden will look great the rest of the like paving areas of the garden will look rubbish because it'll all have been ripped up so he agreed he was like yeah let's just do the whole thing at the same time so that's what's happening now the whole garden is, is being done at the exact same time but it does mean that hopefully by mid-april to may we'll have a brand new garden really excited it'll be wonderful just to sit out there net then with Bo. And it look at me, oh my gosh, he's so complacent and chilled there right now. He's just staring off into space. Oh my gosh, let me show you him. Are you a happy boy? Look how chilled you look, babe. Don't you? We had such a nice morning this morning. Well, well somewhat well. nice. <laughs> somewhat nice. A, we had a very cute morning this morning. Uh, Bo decided to wake up at half past five instead of his usual half six, which is a new thing, but we're, we're kind of getting used to it. If anything, it's kind of getting me up earlier into the swing of the day it's not so good on weekends but anyway got up about six ish took him out and then brought him straight back up to bed and then we all fell asleep so he fell asleep literally curled up spooned with his head on my what's this called crook of your arm bicep bicep that is that a bicep is that a bicep <laughs> is that a tricep is that a tricep no it's a bicep <laughs> His head on my bicep here, and I was like this. And he literally, we slept like that for hours, and then we woke up at nine. I was like, oh, it's nine a.m. I needed that sleep. I was exhausted I yesterday. I yeah, I was for some reason. I, I was. We've had a lot sleep. of early mornings. Been working out every day. We've been pretty busy. Yeah, but it, no, 
it was a lovely nap. It was just so nice because you were really close as well. So all three of us were almost curled up together and he loved, he was just loving his life. And with my body warmth, he must have been like a little dog king in that moment. Dog king. Dog the dog king. Dog the dog king. <laughs> Right, let's get on with this. I'll um, I'll bring you upstairs actually and show you this Louis Vuitton outfit because it's a beaut. Okay, I can show you what's in here. So in this room is really messy right now because I was filming in here yesterday. <laughs> right then, so yeah. By the way, let me show you this jacket I just bought. I saw this come in stock and I jumped on it before it went out. I'm pretty sure it's all sold out now, but look at this like puffer. Um, I realise it's very unlike everything else I have, but I was thinking for when I get back traveling again, this will be the best coat for traveling on planes because with this massive hood, it'll be like cozy. But also right now it is in between weather. So I'll be able to just wear like a t-shirt under this, it would be super duper warm. In honesty, I might get more use out of it for like a prey ski towards the end of the year, but this style of Fendi jacket keeps coming back, but keeps selling out. So I was like, look, I'll buy it now for next year. The cool thing about it is it's completely reversible, which I absolutely love about it. And you can take off the hood as well, completely zips off if you don't want the hood on, but I just love it. It's so cool, so you can have it the full Fendi monogram side. What do you think? Do you like it? I really love it. I really, really love it. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah I think I want to keep it. I think I want to keep it just because the other day I was looking for this and I saw they used to do one in a beige and I love the beige and I went looking for it for about an hour online. So I know how much I want this jacket. And then I saw this come up. She's like a personal shopper for me. She emailed me about, about a load of new things that just come online. And I saw this and immediately was like, please put that on hold for me because that's unbelievable. So luckily, I think, I think I got the last one of that jacket. So let me know if you think I should keep it, then I'll keep it. Right, now then, let's see inside this Louis bag. Sent me the brand new LV Cous, Cous, I'm guessing it's Cousin but kind of looks like it's spelled cousin. Cousin, cousin, cousin. If you guys, if you're, you speak French or you are French, please let me know how you would pronounce this. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Oh, wow. Wow, I didn't know it had this amazing strap. Cousin, maybe, cousin. Yeah, I've seen this, it comes in lots of different colors, but I've never seen it with this massive strap. This is absolutely amazing. I really want this now. This is my LV look for the show. That's um, obviously virtual, but soon. As fashion, the Fashion Week shows are happening right now. So they sent me this as my look. I'm absolutely in love with it. I'm absolutely in love with that. I really, really, really want it. I wonder if it comes any smaller. I love this size, but a little bit smaller would also be gorgeous. Let's see. And then this is my look for the show. I'm gonna have to give this a steam, but so it's this like light blue colour, light blue grey, yeah it's more of a grey, light blue grey with this Louis belt to the middle uh, midi dress with a sunburst orange stripes on here, really unique. When I saw their presentation last season I loved this. And then, wow, the booties, look at those, seriously, sock boots of dreams, sock boots of absolute dreams, and they're in my size. They are insane. Wow. Oh my gosh, I love this outfit. I also, seeing as we're going through all the key designer brands right now, look at this beauty as well. I've just shot this for um, Valentino, for the Valentino shoot. I just, you might have seen it, hopefully if you follow me on Instagram you'll have seen it, but yeah, I did a Valentino shoot. And this is, this is a beautiful pink dress. Like petal, like petal petals. It's gorgeous. So nice. If I can find a link to it, I'll, I'll leave you a link. It's so beautiful. Right, let me get the steamer out. I think Alex was using it yesterday to steam our linen backdrop. Oh, let me show you that. Let me show you that. One sip, one sip. Let me have a sip of my ice. I'm back on iced coffee. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so this is currently in the studio as it stands. We've had the light put in. It's a Philips Hue lamp that we found online. It's got a strip through the middle and then two spotlights 
either end. It worked really well, it added some really lovely light in here. But we do also have obviously loads of different lights in here as well. We've got a couple of stools as props. But this is a sheet from Chalk Pink Linen. You guys know how much I um, adore their bed linen. I've bought their bed linen for every single bed in this house. And so I thought linen would make the most beautiful backdrop for shooting against. I have this gorgeous, this is called Sea Mist, it's like a lovely muted grey and I also got their classic white as well and these look perfect, they're the most perfect backdrops. These are their Super King sized sheets, flat sheets, but Super King, so they're perfect. It's like that's two meters across there over the top, that's two meters, so couldn't be more perfect. So we just shot that for that Valentino campaign I was telling you about. But there's my steamer, that's what I'm after. Okay guys, I'm into my look. This is the Louis Vuitton dress. So cool, I love how it, it's really pulled in with this belt. It's got this really oversized sleeve, like below the sleeves, and then this part of it, it's almost a bit like, it almost looks like I'm wearing some sort of cape over the shoulder. It's really, really unique. Obviously, it's meant to sort of be worn like this to the neck. That neckline doesn't really suit me, so just open it up a little bit and allow this to kind of fall down here, and I've been tucking it under the belt. I think it looks really cool. And then, the boots are amazing. Like, these are literally the kind of boots that I would like to buy. I'm surprised I don't own these, actually. These are so fab. Just to add a little extra. And then, I've gone for, for my hair this Louis Vuitton scarf that I've got, this brooch. I've kind of used it as like a headband with the brooch on top and I love it, it's like a little crown. And then I've wrapped it around my bobble to create, just super easy, just wrap around the bobble. And then this swoops just down the back. I just love scarves in hair like this. Put on a little bit of gloss and dab some orange into the very inside of my lips. So it's really like quite not natural, but not like super thick opaque lipstick. Yeah, I just put like coral blush on and things and that's sort of it. However, my favorite bit is the bag. And like I said in the fast shoot, this is the bag in the white as well. Oh, stunning. end of the day, fabulously productive day. I was going to cook and then Alex got impatient because I was really busy putting some things together and he was like, I'm just shopping. gonna cook. I wasn't shopping, it's for a project. <laughs> we are having our favorite, oh, Alex is watching the Cecil Hotel. We're having our favorite dish, but in pasta form. Feta, um, spinach, feta, spinach, lemon, uh, pasta. So it's literally my favorite feta pie um, that I do with spinach and feta, but made into a pasta. It's pretty much the exact same ingredients we've put it into a pasta and it's really, really good. Um, so Alex is doing that for us. Are you, are you having a port? Oh yeah. I won't want to. Have you got yourself a little glass and everything? My little glass, what horrible weather it is. It's funny how you always seem to appear when there's wine and cheese on the go. <laughs> That's a little port. Very nice. Oh god, it's so good port, isn't it? Oh, I love it. Hey you, do you want some port tea, baby? Look at that little ear. <laughs> He's so beautiful. So yeah, the day's been really productive, actually. So I shot the Louis Vuitton like I showed you. We did all that shooting. We've also got all the Valentino pictures together and I've been putting things together for another project and my Teresa blog post. So I used to pick loads of gorgeous outfits so that's taken me a while actually because they had to kind of match with each other. And now I can relax with my port and my food and then later on, because we probably will sit down for this in maybe like a quarter of an hour. So a little, less, hour. a little less than that. Oh yeah, from time is on now No, 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 I'm not thinking and then... <laughs> no. And I've let just do a spin and then I'll feel extremely productive if I get all that done. So yeah, anyway guys, I'll end the vlog here because it's quite a long one again. But I hope you've enjoyed this little update from the week. We will see you in the next one.